So we've got a cycle that's traveling in a circle, right? And it's asking for the coefficient that's going to hold your bike tires on the ground. So how's that going to work? Now, if you recall, the centripetal force is equal to mass times acceleration, which acceleration is mv squared over r. But now we're talking also about friction. And if you recall, the force of friction is the coefficient of friction times the normal force. And there's no like angles or anything going on here. So if I've got the cyclist, the, cyclist, the weight will be equal to the normal force, right? Because the normal force is a perpendicular or, uh, to the, uh, the contact space. So we can also say this was equal, so the frictional force would equal the centripetal force. When that's true, we can find this. So you can say this is equal to mu times the normal force, but the normal force, you can basically say mv squared over r is equal to mu times mg. Because one thing on tricky on this question is they did not give you a mass. Now you can just plug a random mass in, but notice that the masses will cancel. And you know v, you know r, and of course you know g, that's stellar gravity, and you're solving for mu.